Well, 11 matches have been completed in the CG United Regional Super 50 Cup at three venues in Trinidad. As we enter into the second week of matches, here is a roundup of the standings and what's to come in week two. Isolated rains got the better of two matches last week, which can be taken as a win as we're at the peak of the hurricane season. The home side, the TNT Red Force, took full advantage of familiar conditions, winning two of their three matches with one no result. They are currently second on the table, tied with the Leeward Islands Hurricanes, both teams on 22 points. Cellar dwellers, Jamaica Scorpions, have lost both their matches and will require seamless wins to move to the top four. The CWI Academy, Guyana and the CCC have all done well and with the new bonus point structure can move to the top. Meanwhile, Keon Otley leads the most run standings with Alec Athenes close behind. Darren Bravo has also been putting in consistent performances, resulting in him being third. In the bowling department, Daniel Doram from the Leewards is on top with 10 wickets and local boy Yannick Carrier on his heels with 9. Now looking ahead, Taruba welcomes three clashes with the Red Force in action on Thursday 26th at 1pm. The Queen's Park Oval hosts four games with the Red Force back on the field on Saturday 28th at 9am. And matches also continue at the UE St. Augustine campus on Wednesday 25th and Sunday 29th.